Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Beaky and I am back making videos for the Elder Scrolls Legends right now? What the hell's going on guys? Yeah, let's look at the deck first of all. Dragon S, it's just a Dragon Fun deck just for being lulls. I haven't played Legends much at all in months. I've been playing Gwent, I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons. I've just been away from this game, the Skyrim lore, the universe I love, but... This morning, after I've gotten my COVID shot, my arm hurts, I am home. I said, you know what, I can't sleep. Let me do something just for fun, and I'm jumping on Elder Scrolls Legends to do that. So first thing first, let's go ahead and what this deck is about. It's all doing Parthenax, my big boy right here, Reanimate, Unstoppable Rage. It doesn't really fit the deck, but we're here just playing fun. Skeleton Dragons, we're doing our whole Reanimate, bringing cards back. Uh, Call of Dragon, Warforged in here for the loves, for the fun, just because if we get Warforged out and we power up our Forerunner, we could have some fun shenanigans. Word Wall, one of my favorite cards in the game, um, with um, Forge is fun as well. Dwarven Armaments with World Wall and Forerunner is fun as well. Obviously, we're playing a high magical cost deck without really much way at all. I don't think there is any way in this deck other than tree minder to really ramp so this is not a ramp deck we're only playing one card from the triple attribute just to make sure we have it this is not about that attribute and at all really we're playing shouts with unrelenting force we're playing soul tier we're yeah unrelenting force yes i am playing unrelenting force guys i actually am and i am playing the good old four card dragon aspect so yeah, we're just going to be having fun with Midnight Barrel and all these high cost cards and getting some health back via cards like this right here, Clockwork Dragon, suppressing some of my opponent's stronger card with Supreme Dragon and just overall having fun with some dragons because this is Skyrim, right? So let's go ahead and jump into a match. Uh, we're going to rank. I probably should be just playing a, a player match, but I don't know if people are still playing player matches. I have 40 seconds to find a match. It used to be 20, but then look at that. It dropped down to 20, so it's good to see that probably people are still playing Legends after all this time, playing on PC, mobile, and phone. I will say one thing I like about Legends still compared to Gwent, I just feel like finding a match sometimes on Legends has always been a lot more easier, and we don't run into some of the weird backing out glitches I get on mobile with Gwent. But I think I'm going to be putting some Gwent videos on this channel. There's a few cha few videos every now and then. Nothing to say like, oh, there's going to be videos consistently or constantly, but why let the channel completely fade away from existence? If we could tr transfer this into something else card base related, or maybe twist back around to Legends or the Elder Scrolls universe when Skyrim comes out, then, well, not Skyrim, the next Elder Scrolls game comes out, why not do that? So we're going to keep Assassin here. If you guys have never seen me, for somehow, this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, which... I don't understand how that would be possible. This channel has been dead. But if somehow you're watching this video for the first time, I do do commentary as we go on. I used to Twitch stream this game. Overall, this hand is quite high, especially playing against a Daggerfall Covenant, which is most likely going to be an item deck, if I have to guess. But once again, it's been a few months since I've really dug into this game, so I'm not sure what the new meta is or what's going on, and I'm not playing for that. I'm just playing for fun. I'm hoping right here to get into Word of Re Recall, hopefully. My opponent is playing into items like I thought they were going to be, and this is a bad start for me off the bat, except for the fact I just got that. So, good thing there. That's going to be a worthy trade for me. I'll take that any day of the week. Keep Midnight Burial. We're reducing Midnight Barrel to combo this into getting older and out early, hopefully. Let's see if we can My opponent's going to be playing heavily aggressive right now, trying to get rid of me soon, and I might not be able to win this one. It just just might be the, the way this one works, because I have supremely high cost cards in my hand, and I don't have a way to put them out. But we're getting there. If we can survive until to turn 8, where I could put down some, hopefully. Ooh. Yeah, guys, we're going to get hit up hard. Okay. I'll, I'll take the slow bill, man. Any Every single turn that my opponent lets me have another turn alive is one more turn that I could possibly survive. And that's what this, this deck is a comeback deck. That is kind of the whole entire theme of this deck, in fact. 
So we're going to go here into Midnight uh, Word Wall. Yes, I would love to go into, you know, Assassin, but we need to stall. We need to stall our opponent. And just keep on stalling. Until we could get out. I'm ready for you. I shot the reanimate. Don't get to weird. So for now, we do have Dragon Aspect, which I could use to get rid of this over here on the left side. Oh, there we go. We're gonna we're gonna lose. No, it's actually better to do this. Get rid of her. Play into Aldrin. Have that set. Now, my opponent could definitely banish those cards from my graveyard. It's, it's, it's a fact. It's just what could happen here. But we're playing for fun. We'll see what happens here. So got a little bit more time to waste here. Don't get to weird. Pony coming out swinging hard a fuck, which is understandable. So we're gonna go ahead. Get rid of that. There, drop this down to three. And let's see if they have enough cards in their hand to power this up. They're playing the item deck like I expected from the beginning. A lot of big, mighty powers. What are you going to do, right? There's life in this old thing, yeah. There we go. There's so we got a silence going on. Yeah. I'm guessing they're going to attack face. I kind of don't see any reason for them not to. Or maybe they won't. They should attack face. For honor and for glory. Yeah, that's the right move to do. And then we're going to go ahead into Alduin. This deck is a comeback deck, so this is what it's about. They've gotten three cards in their hand. They could have some charges. We have a slight amount of health gain via Forge and Forerunner possibilities. I suppose it's going to probably get a bunch of cards to do some damages. We're going to summon, up, summon back up Supreme Dragon for, 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 via Alduin. We have Word Wall for um, defense. Opponent playing lovely right now. Counteracting me like a champ. And we have a Mighty Burial, which I could get a Mighty Burial into... Could, there's a bunch of cards I could bring back, but everything that I could bring back... Well, there's a bunch of ways to do this. Bring back some cards to defend me. Yeah, actually, we'll do that. Let us do that. Let's just do it that way. Let's do it that way. Let's just do the Alduin way. That's what he's here for. That's what this deck's about. Put you there. Let's bring back Alduin. Just wipe the field clear. Trying to see if I had to, uh, thinking about the deck once again. Want, sorry for the play. There's been a while. Just had to think about like, yeah, is that the best possible play? It definitely did seem like it was. So I just had to make sure that it was. Sweet right there. That's what this deck is. Comeback guards both Elaine. Don't 
Well, they get to silence two creatures, so yeah, do you too. Okay. Let's go ahead over there. I know that's gonna get the item. But whatever, don't wanna actually attack you yet. Actually, I'm going here for a card draw more than anything else. And I want to keep that. I know I could attack. But I want to be sure that when I attack, I win because I have enough damage on the floor. So 10, 20. All right, yeah, here we go. And let's win this. Opponent got into the prophecy, but like I said, that's what the deck is about. Just having fun, playing some unorthodox type stuff. Playing with the Forge and Hall and, you know, Shouts, and there you go. Looked like I was going to lose, but I won. There you go, guys. That was a game from me playing Elder Scrolls Legends. It's been a long time since I've played, but I'll throw up some videos from now and then onto the channel, and I'll put up some Gwent as well because I've been having fun with Gwent. Thanks for watching. Beaky is out. If you guys have never seen my main channel, it's called it Untitled Game Show. I'm going to be uploading more to there as well, so go check that out. It has lots of other types of content, video game reviews, previews, tech, items, unboxings, and, you know, chair reviews of gaming chairs, technology, I would highly go recommend you guys go check all that jazz out. Alright guys, till next time, see you in Gwent and Legends.